Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. We're rolling, baby. Cool. We're on the air. <laughs> We're on the air. <laughs> We're on the air. It's so nice to be back. It feels like it's been a long time since we've been back. It has been a long time. Or since we've been here. Yeah. for uh, it's It's been a while. It's been a couple weeks. I know it has. We had the Christmas season. A lot has happened. I know I'm not smoking anymore, but I'm doing uh, these what? things I put in my mouth. What are the What are those? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I already feel the head rush. It's like a dip. It's like a cigarette substitute. I'm smoking far less. I'm still smoking. That's good. Some, though. It's like, like a nicotine dip. Yeah, it's like a Nick dip. dip. Nick dip, but it doesn't. This fucking does it, thing keeps coming it, out of my goddamn ear. <laughs> Pull, give a little more slack on the. There you go. That might help. Okay, that'll help. Yeah, it's a nicotine dip. I think it's straight nicotine. So don't people get like it more addicted to vapes than actual cigarettes? And it now that's be. a problem. I don't know. So now my body's really gonna like nicotine. There's a lot of carcinogens in the smoke itself of a cigarette. Yep. I'm not an expert on this, so I'm probably gonna get this wrong. Some asshole is gonna yell at me, but. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of other bad for you chemicals in the cigarette itself that you're smoking, right? That you won't be getting through the uh, straight nicotine through the, to my blood. Yeah. Although that's going to keep, I mean, that's that hardens your arteries, maybe, does it? I feel <laughs> like I heard that one time or read that. Maybe I could probably look it up after this. I don't know. It must be better for my lungs, though. My lungs, uh, I feel like I have a little more wind in me now. Uh huh. It's and we've bad. all been we've all been sick too. So did you get any of that in your lung? Like were your lungs been sick as shit? Yeah, I was sick for a week, and then sweet Erica got sick for like three days. Three days. I mean, she's still really sick. That's why it scared me a little when Grant was helping her out and all up in her face. Grant yeah. might be sick now, but Grant doesn't have his mask, so Grant must be better. He's better. Grant's fine. And you were sick for what a week? I was sick for at least a week. I'm still I'm still fighting it a little bit. I'm still got a head full of snot. What do you do? Get like a piece of toilet paper? I just let the snot run down my face. <laughs> you do? Yeah. You ever snot I rocket? Care. Oh, absolutely. I had to teach Erica how to snot rocket. She had never <laughs> snot rocketed before. That's because she's from the city, bro. We're farm kids. We would go yeah. on walks, and when we'd be walking around the park, he'd be like, do it now. This is the perfect place to do it. Just try it. And I'd be like, I'm not trying it. He's yeah. like, just try it. She would never snot rocket. It's the best way to get the snot out of your Absolutely. nose. Absolutely. My grams always knew he was in the shower, though, because he always blows his nose in the shower. She's like, I always know when William's taking a shower because I can hear him blowing his nose. Yeah, the shower's a good place, too, because it just goes yeah. down the drain. Shower is a good place to get it all out, it other is. than poop. That's for the uh, toilet. <laughs> Speaking of that, I finally do do today. I hadn't do, it, today would have been the third day, and we made a really good soup. We got some new Dutch oven at a Home Goods. Very exciting. Made this good bean and vegetable stew. It's really good. Which has tons of fiber. I would imagine. I've been eating the raisin bran cereal. I've been drinking prune juice every day, and I still haven't do dooed. I do dooed a little today. But there is a ton more up in me. There has to be. <laughs> it scares me because I'm eating all this fiber. So I don't know if there's the issue in there. Get some of that. Uh, I'll give you some of the stuff I got for my colonoscopy that it just makes you poop. Oh, the really? Water yeah. Stuff? Well, I mean, it's not. Yeah. I mean, eventually, I mean, it'll get you everything that's in there will come out. You'll poop a bunch of times. Well, I need that. And it's over the counter stuff. I can't remember what it's called, but you, it, Magne citrate. It's something. I, I, uh, some magnesium trait. I, I chose uh, not to put it into my permanent uh, memory yeah, because it was such a, an experience. But it will, uh, it'll get it all out of there for you. That's what it's for. 
you're constipated. Well, I need to, yeah. And then I was- Why are you constipated? I don't know, because again, I'm eating a bunch of fiber right now. We've been eating better. I don't know what it- I don't know you what it could good, be. You look good, bro. You look really good. Well, your, you're sweet to say your that. Your beard is trimmed up. You've lost a bunch of weight. This whole not drinking, not doing an eight ball of cocaine uh, every I third night. I kind of miss it, but right, it's for the best. <laughs> that, that kind of, I don't know. I'm kind of joking when I say I miss it. I miss, I look, know. look. I'm kind of. We got out really of the cocaine up. game just in time. I feel. I know. Erica got some news last night in the San Fernando Valley. They found three dead bodies in an apartment. So they're thinking it's probably uh, the fentanyl laced cocaine. Fentanyl. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know yet. It used to be they just laced your cocaine with you know vitamin B or baby laxative baby, yeah. or I need some of that was. stuff. There was... Some of the coke with the baby <laughs> laxative. Let's see what it is. Maybe your body is doesn't know how to handle. A non-cocaine induced shitstorm. Totally, there really might be some truth to that because it so, always would make me doo doo. I feel yeah. like when I would do a bunch and then I have to shit, dude. I, <laughs> you ever have like as soon as someone even like I would have to shit as soon as the cocaine got busted out. Oh yeah, it just, didn't even you didn't have to do it. Just like, thinking about it. Just, yeah, <laughs> just knowing it's Looking in the room it, would make. And you... all of a sudden you're like, <laughs> always. Oh, I better clean some space. <laughs> it would clean some space out immediately. Yeah, I wonder why the people put the baby laxative in there. I wonder what well, that even part is of it the a cut? white powder. Yeah, yeah. they got to. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's just cutting it to yeah. you know, you get a kilo of cocaine and then you cut it with a kilo of baby laxative and you have two kilos of cocaine yeah 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 that makes sense that you'd have and to dipshits of... like us we don't know any better we just buy what they give yeah us, i didn't you know? care i was just buying an 80 dollar bag every week <laughs> i don't even want to think about the amount of money i now i just have more money i don't have a lot of money at all but now i just have a a regular amount of money in the bank account that pretty much stays put yeah. when uh, last year it was, and the year before it was just all going down all the time. <laughs> and I didn't give a shit, but it was no. all, I barely ever had any money because I was buying all those drugs. Oh yeah, well, you look good, man. Well, thank you. You look really good. And your beard, I feel look a at little your better. beard. I feel like, uh, you know, we should be uh, uh, zipping into a Manscaped ad right now, but you look really- you should. You should. Well, thank you. Yeah, my mom, we went back uh, to Memphis for Christmas, got rented a uh, Hyundai Santa Fe, and it had this fucking- uh, Safety feature. Safety feature on it where if it if it sensed you were going over the line, which I go over the line a little when I'm passing a big 18-wheeler on my right, uh -huh. it would automatically adjust the- mm -hmm. uh, Steering wheel. Yeah. The first time it happened, I immediately pulled off to the side and stopped because I got a f thought I had a flat tire or something. Yeah, it seemed like the most dangerous safety feature ever. Yeah, we. F I googled it and then after two hours we figured out. Yeah, it was a little button I could press and it turned it off. Yeah, so it was all right. Yeah, it, it was seems horribly dangerous. dangerous. Yeah, I, I drove. That. I drove my uh, mother in law's car, new car. She's an eighty year old lady. Oh, She's wait. got a. She's got like a Nissan Rogue or something like that. And we went to Florida over Christmas. We were driving yeah. from Tampa up to Gainesville. I'm driving this thing. And all of a sudden, there's a car in front of me, but it's turning right. Mm -hmm. And I'm and I'm coming up on it. And I see that it's turning right. And I can see that there's no one coming. So I know this car is going to turn right. Yeah. And all of a sudden, as I'm coming up to it, it applies the brakes itself. Like, oh my god, it seems scary. It's and the dangerous. same thing. It's that you know, lane assist or like safety feature that I didn't even know was on. Scared the seems shit out horrible. of me. Yeah, it seems I would more dangerous. I would assume all those make it more dangerous. We were riding with Red Band to Houston, and it seemed like His we Tesla almost crashed a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, we're on the highway going real fast, and then he immediately, he frantically grabs onto the thing, and I'm like, <laughs> dude, are we about to fucking die in your Tesla SUV that you have? It seems uh, so dangerous and scary. Yeah. I picture Red Band at the wheel with his virtual reality Oculus goggles <laughs> yeah. on and his pants around his ankles. <laughs> right. I feel like a Tesla is the last automobile that a Brian Redband should have. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I think picture wearing his to... Oculus behind the wheel. It yeah. seems really dangerous. It's going to lead to a lot more masturbation. And I don't even know if Red Band could even up the masturbation level that yeah. much more. <laughs> I know. It's hard to say. I don't I don't know if he could. Uh, but... So how was the trip to, uh, to Tennessee, other than the scary safety features it was very nice we had yeah, it was fun really good food every single sweet day. francis was cooking good every night nice had some good food every night finished two puzzles finished a 500 piece puzzle and then did a thousand piece and the thousand piece was significantly more difficult was it twice as difficult it was probably more than <laughs> I'm not it a was, mathematician, but it was probably over twice. It was more. It was more than twice difficult. I would say the pattern was more difficult. It was. It was, a, it was a yeah. Christmas the other theme. one was like sharp lines, and Francis was sweet and like so impressed. We finished it so quick, and I was yes, like, like, "Y'all are so smart. Y'all are like prodigies." I was like, I was like "Oh I my gosh, genius. yeah, am I actually?" <laughs> and then a I was genius? like, "Look at all these sharp lines everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing was just boxes and squares." Did you guys, take a picture. Yes. Yeah, I took pictures. All uh, right, cool. We'll look at a picture of it. And I actually got a card table on Amazon because I want to start doing puzzles in the apartment. <laughs> yep. Nice. So I got a card table on Amazon. It's getting here Sunday. That's pretty cool. I know. I'm really excited. I'm going to do some uh, underwater ocean puzzles. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Sobriety, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Instead of being all high on Coke and uh, 30 rack of uh, Coors Light and calling prank phone calls about how you're trapped in an <laughs> underwater cave yeah. in Tennessee. Now I'm just doing puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> we would, first thing we'd do when we got up would make would do the puzzle. Do the puzzles. Yeah, that other one. The first one took uh, less than a day. The second one took, what, three, three days? days. Nice. Many hours, probably five hours a day. It took probably fifteen <laughs> hours to finish that second one. Right on. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. fun. What, uh, Erica? What did you think of Tennessee? Have you ever been to Tennessee before? No, I've never. Uh, I really liked it. We just, I didn't ever want to leave their house, so I said we Aww. have to go. And we didn't even want to leave. Um, we were exposed to COVID, but didn't get it. Uh, and then Francis is like, well, if you have COVID, you're going to have to stay here. And I was like, yeah, we're going to have to quarantine here for two weeks. Yeah, I wanted to do more. Yeah, puzzles. we didn't want to leave. Oh, so, guys. Um, there was a ghost experience. <laughs> Remember what? that? Yep. What? Oh, my gosh. My mom called me the other night. There was another ghost experience since we've left. We're all sitting down in the den area just hanging out. And there's the Christmas tree. And there was an ornament that sounded like a bell or something. <laughs> the freaking just a portion of the tree was moving nowhere else just like a small yeah. portion and there wasn't an animal in the tree or anything it was like a ghost went by the tree and moved part of the tree a little <laughs> wasn't it you thought it was weird you thought it was weird well your mom scared me because she screamed at the top of her lungs <laughs> but like to joke and, I was, <laughs> and then i think she said it was like a like a rodent in there or something but there wasn't any rodent in there it was totally a ghost yeah Maybe For like sure. a like a you know your great grandma or something who loves Christmas is like kind of like you know helping hang the ornaments you know I coming totally, back from the past. And, I think it was my grandmother B. That's what I was mm -hmm. thinking. Yeah, that's bee. sweet. I know it's real sweet. And we it's got, nice when a ghost is like sweet. You know, just I know. helping out with the Christmas. People are used to. I feel like just because of movies and stuff, ghosts get a bad rap. I mean, I think right. people think ghosts are just these scary, evil beings, but I think they can be sweet sometimes. Yeah, totally. If, especially if it's your grandma. I think you know? it's probably my grandmother. It'd be nice if your ghost could, you know, like make you a nice breakfast or something. You know, maybe help out with the laundry, yep. like a grandma would. You know, like you wake yep. up in the middle of the night, like. Oh my God, a freshly baked pie. I know. This place is haunted. I know. I wish, but yeah, it was just you just jingling on the tree. That's pretty crazy. That was though. fun. Yeah, because Erica still doesn't believe in ghosts, but I mean, I feel like. And your mom was... screamed? Yeah, to well, she scare was. scare us. It was really funny, but I was like a little bit terrified because I thought there was maybe really so, like something in the tree. Oh my gosh. It was, it got <laughs> freezing cold the other night and. We have a fern out on our little balcony told area. Them to bring it in. She, Erica told me to bring it in, so I'm. I finished one of my video games. I've been gaming a shit ton lately, and I bring it in, and out of the corner of my eye, I see a 
something move real fast. He screams bloody murder. I think like a medical emergency happened <laughs> on the balcony emergency. while he's bringing the... Because he screamed bloody murder. I was like, oh my God, something bad happened. And he ran out the front door. So he went from <laughs> the balcony bedroom hallway out the front door. And I was like, what's going... And then he's like, something flew out of the fern. <laughs> There's a sweet Wait. little finch or something. A little, finch. a little bird? Yeah, tiny. There's a sweet little He's bird. like, I thought it was a bat. Yeah, I thought and, it was a bat. And you ran all the way from the back... Of, porch uh-huh to the out front, the front door. door out the front door leaving your lovely sweet erica behind to I fend he for cut herself something. i didn't know what happened oh that was it him scared me to death yeah it kind of looked like him he was so and cute. it's a good thing i had my crocs on because i hit my freaking toe on the side of the bed i would have broken toes if i didn't have those crocs <laughs> on mm-hmm. i slammed my foot so hard against the bed you're the first person that's ever uttered the <laughs> phrase i'm so glad i had my crocs on <laughs> <laughs> I probably uh, I, I can't really... wait. I can't wait to hear more about this uh this trip back to Tennessee. It sounds like you guys had a great time. Yeah, to hear it, it was luckily really nice. I was, was curious fun. how everybody would get along. I mean, everybody's nice. Both parties are nice, so I assumed it would go well. But yeah, Fine. luckily it went well. Cool. And you've been video gaming a lot. Are you still on Balloon Tower Defense Six? I'm actually not playing that as much. We are in the midst of a uh a collection event right now, which normally I'm totally on top of, but I uh, <laughs> beat the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, then I beat Grand Theft Auto Five, then I beat The Last of Us, then I beat The Last of Us Two, and now I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima. Yep. Ghost of Tsushima. It's the coolest game I've ever played. I'm pretty much a saint. The, the one he's playing now, he's probably played about 60 hours, and it's about 13% <laughs> uh, progress. Wow. Yeah. And you're a samurai? I'm a samurai. Now, let me ask you this, uh, (laughs) samurai Montgomery. Would a samurai run screaming from a tiny finch in a potted fern? He would not. (laughs) And then it took us 30 minutes to get the freak thing out of the bedroom. It wasn't that bad. I was holding a big blanket to try to block it it from me. Oh, it came inside. Yeah, it was inside. It was in our bathroom for a little. And then we had to shut all the doors. And it was, yeah, it took us 20 minutes to get it back outside. We had a bird in our uh, house a couple weeks ago, too. Another little... uh, Another little guy like that, a little like Finch or something. Sweet little guy. And this guy, we have like a little, uh, we have one of those screen, it's not a screen door on the front, but it's one of those like little like curtain things that has like a magnet Mm -hmm. where the two sides, the magnets connect in the middle. a cool clack noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) So this bird hopped in. You know, it's like walked in, like a bird just walked into our house, which first of all- that's baller. Yeah. You know, hey, but, uh, bird, you're not even going to fly in. You're just going to walk in like, yeah. I live here, get yep. the fuck out. But then, yeah, we have really high ceilings. Don't do. So this bird was just loving life. And then we've got these really high uh, windows up yeah. on the in the in the main part. Like, mm-hmm. you can't get to these windows. Yeah. There's no curtains on them. There's no blinds or anything. And now, uh, Carrie Mitchell noticed this morning... There's bird shit on the inside of our window up there because this bird, while flying around trying to get out, yeah. took a big. Uh, How shit you gonna on get her. up there? Wait, I is it know. still in y'all's house? The bird's gone. How'd y'all get it out of the house? Uh, the same way we just finally shuffled it out, you know, so through it was a window. It, it, it ended up in the upstairs bathroom, and we opened up the bathroom window, took the screen out, and then just shut the door, and it it. Eventually you know, figured it out and went out. You cool. Know. But yes. yeah, it just walked in. The bird walked in <laughs> and then flew around, took a shit on the inside of our window we can't reach, Yikes. and then took off. Be careful about breathing in the air. Can't you get bad diseases from bird I probably Maybe that's why I've been sick for so long. It could be. Probably have bird flu, dude. Oh, yeah. Is that how bird flu? And there's also other diseases you can get. I remember being at the zoo when I was a little boy and putting my hand down, take it, relaxing on a bench, and it was filled with bird doo-doo. <laughs> it got all over my hand. And then you licked your hand? Because <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't help it? Yeah, it got all over my hand. Oh, shit. Well, it's good to see you guys again. Yeah, I've missed you nice guys. I know, you too. It has back. been a long time. Let's uh, Let's do a fun show today. Cool. Sounds like a plan. All right. And I'm loving the sag in my mouth. I get the y'all can't even. It's like Your I'm smoking dip? right now. That's pretty cool. But I'm not actually smoking. 
but I can feel it in my, yeah, I just sit on the fucking couch and samurai people and just have these in my mouth. And What's the game called again? Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. Lord that, Sakai. I'm Lord what's Sakai. your uh, gaming system? PS4. Oh, well, dude, you need a PS5. I know. I know. We They're need to so figure cool. out a PS5 if anybody watching. Uh, oh, we'll the, get you set up, bro. Wants to tell me. And I have to thank the, <laughs> I can't think of the guy's name right now, but he sent me, uh, we went to the P.O. box, got two of these cool Tennessee shirts. And also the Australia, some Australian guy sent us a book <laughs> it's, that he wrote. I should have brought it today. Well, I'll bring it next time. Maybe it All seems right. uh, strange. Yeah. <laughs> it Is seems... it written upside down? They're upside down in Australia. They are. Doesn't the toilet water go the other way it down does. there? That's weird. Totally weird, man. How does it even work? <laughs> now we sound like insane clown posse. <laughs> What are magnets, bro? Yeah. <laughs> How do magnets magic? I love the clack noise those things make. Does <laughs> y'all make the clack noise? The magnets? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Man, I love that magnet clack noise. Mm -hmm. That bird just walked right in. At the bottom, it doesn't quite connect. There's that little little spot in the bottom, just enough for a finch to come walking in like he owned the goddamn. I wonder if he's going to come back. <laughs> Probably bring some friends and be like, look where I shit on their window. <laughs> and bring more birds in there. Baller. Well, it's good y'all didn't have to. Yeah, I didn't know how we were going to get the bird out of the room. I didn't Who know did how most we... of the work on that? Was that you or Erica? I mean, you are, went screaming out was, the front door. He was scared. Erica had a towel she was using. I had a big blanket I was using. I was kind of behind <laughs> Erica the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it's just scared me uh. to death. I don't know what would happen if there was like a real burglar or something in the apartment. I would just scream and run out. You'd probably scare him right out of the apartment. Yeah. Good defense I mean, I, system. I don't even know what I would do. A samurai scream. A samurai scream. I'm going to play that today. Erica's about to leave for 10 days to LA. Oh, really? So I'll be uh, gaming probably a lot. Gaming and hiding from ghosts and shadow people. I know. I'm not even trying to think about that because last night she was asleep and I stayed up till 4.30 in the morning gaming mm -hmm. and uh, I was hearing some noises. We bought brought my uh, grandmother B's uh, two nice old like uh, pillows. pillows. So I don't know if we brought some of her spirit back with us. Nice. Maybe. But yeah, I was hearing noises last night. My grandma B's cool. Yeah, she's really cool. I wish she was still alive. Mm -hmm. But people die. <laughs> That's the uh, word on the street. <laughs> word on the street. How's Grant doing? Hey, I'm doing all right. Shit, we haven't heard from Grant this I whole know. time. Did, Hi, how, Grant. He's looking at hey. his Manscaped stuff. I've been Yeah, I've been just rifling through this box. What do you think about that Manscaped stuff, dude? So it, it's for, you know, grooming all over the body, right? All the hair? Is that, yeah, dude. The, is that the deal? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit intimidated, I guess. <laughs> well, it could help. You told me when we walked in that sometimes you do trim down there, so maybe that could help with that. <laughs> you, yeah. You you mentioned to us that your balls smell like wet garbage. I, I did. And, uh, I didn't say and that, that on there's, some, there's some ball deodorant in there. Yeah, yeah. they have ball oil. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't. I need to put some on my ball. The shampoo I like a lot. I use the shampoo often now. You look good, man. You are a a a definite advertisement, a walking advertisement for the good folks at Manscaped.com. We need to get a good uh, toupee sponsor because I'm looking <laughs> as bald as ever. So no, dude, that's fine. Sponsor. It's cool. What do you think? Should I keep grow? Can I? Should I keep the hair this length or? Uh, Buzz it off. If people are always like, oh, buzz it off, you look insane. I don't know. I think with the tightly coiffed beard, I think it looks all right. I like his hair that length. Was that yeah. looking crazy with the longer beard? Well, I mean, it just, it, yeah. it, I thought it looked all right, but it did have a little more of a kind of a, you know, Street wild, it was wild Viking Nordic sort of look. Now you look like yeah. you have a job. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it last night. I think I could work at an Apple store. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Oh, I think you could do it. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> do you think, Grant? Absolutely. Cool. Yeah, you got that genius look. Oh my gosh. Thank yeah. you. You look like you might have started a company in your garage. 
for sure. <laughs> I think wearing the polo really helps too. Does it versus a t-shirt? Yeah. Okay, cool. That extra collar, it just it, it means, oh, I, I have a job now. Should I put an undershirt under it or do you like it without an undershirt? Uh, pull that down a little more. <laughs> no undershirt. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, well, so nice to be here. We have a very funny comedian, Casey Rocket, as our guest today. He's great. He's very funny. I love that kid. That's going to be fun. So it should be fun. Yeah. He, um, he, I talked to him last night at Red Band Show and he said he could do it. And then I texted him earlier and maybe he was still asleep or something. And I started panicking, thinking, oh my God, we don't have a guest. And, but he's, he's, said, maybe I think he's it's here. fine. I said, he's probably still asleep. I know. And yeah. I, maybe he's here now. You guys all sleep late. I know. I've been trying to. I had a pretty good sleep schedule, but now it's back to, uh, Gaming, gaming schedule. Gaming schedule. Right. Well, you look good. And again, it's it's all due to our good friends at Manscaped. Go yeah. there. Go to manscaped.com. Use the promo code WMS for 20% off and free shipping. Huh? That's, that's good. Free that's shipping. That's a pretty good deal. That's a perk. Yeah, absolutely. You can take care of, uh, of your smell, of your hair situation. For sure. Hell yeah. So thanks to our good friends at Manscaped, an official Thank sponsor you. of the William Montgomery New Show. New official sponsor. <laughs> so many things have happened since we started this podcast. New worlds yeah. are opening up. They are. Absolutely. I am wearing my very comfortable sheath underwear right now. Oh, are you? Yeah, absolutely. I got my balls tucked into its own pouch. Into the pouch. I got my peen tucked into a separate pouch from the ball pouch. That's cool. How are you feeling down there? I feel pretty good. I feel pretty comfortable down there. Cool. Yeah, I wear mine some. I don't have them on right now, but yeah, it seems good. Mine just sort of fit into one pouch. You're jamming it all into one? <laughs> yeah. It looks good on him. They though. kind of fit in one. Uh. <laughs> so I don't know how people are doing both. Mine kind of fit in one of them. Hey, do whatever you want, man. This is America. I know, I know. And the thing about it is that sheath underwear, with its with all of its ball and peen choices, yeah, you offers options. you a lot of options. You have options, which you is options. good, which is totally a good used thing. Used to be, back in the tidy whities era, yep. you just jam that shit in there. It Are you all a tidy whities guy? I used to be. Or boxers, tidy whities? I wasn't even a boxers guy until I was probably in my 30s. How come? What changed? Because I'm in my 50s. And before that, there was nothing but tidy whities. Oh, no yeah, boxers, one wore boxers. That's a new development. No one wore, I mean, generally there, speaking, there might have been boxers back in the, you know, 80s. Yeah. But they were for like 90 year old guys, like the, you know, like oh, old really? guys who had like their socks held up with like the garter thing yeah you know? i want some of those i see those sometimes <laughs> but everyone cool. else wore tidy whities that's what it was interesting yeah well, this is a way this is a new era it's the future yeah my balls are happy about it boxer briefs because i do like boxer briefs and then these have the pouch mm -hmm. the pouches and also again you could probably use them to sell drugs yeah oh yeah definitely you could fit some bags of stuff in there you could get an 80 bag of Coke in there. Oh, yeah. You could get several. Nice. <laughs> you could get several of those things in there. So if you're a, a drug smuggler, say you're a, a young uh, cocaine mule and you're trying to just do your job. You're just out there doing your job. Yeah. you're. Yes. Yeah. You've got to get this cocaine across the border or the cartel is going to kill your family. Yep. You're thinking, what do I do? How am I going to do this, logistically speaking? How right. do I sneak it? Well, that's where sheath underwear comes into play. <laughs> yeah, you just put it in one of the pouches. Mm -hmm. Jam your balls and dick into the other pouch. You can fit probably a couple ounces. Yeah. How big is an ounce? I don't know. I never saw that much. It depends on if it's pure. What, like something like this? Yeah, probably smaller than that. That's probably a couple ounces. Yeah, you can probably get that, get that in there. <laughs> yeah, you could get that in there. Sure. Like a circular bag that size. <laughs> and then you get it across the border, you deliver your payload, 
The cartel lets your family, your family lives. Yeah. Because you had your sheath underwear on. Yep. Save your family. Yeah, I mean, sheath uh, underwear literally could save your life at some point. Happy mm -hmm. endings only. Happy endings only. <laughs> See, now I feel like that could be some confusion. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering. What... <laughs> Go to sheathunderwear.com and use code WMS to get 20% off your first order. Plus, sheath underwear is 100% money back guarantee. Let's say that the cartel, uh, let's say you, you, you put your uh, cocaine into the pouch and uh, they find it at the border and yep. your family is murdered yep. by the cartel. Well, guess what? You'll get your money back on the sheet yeah, underwear because it's a one hundred percent money back guarantee. So sure, your so family's dead, but you get your money back for silver your underwear. Lining. Yeah, silver linings. Get sheath underwear and let them support your balls. Sheath. <laughs> We're good, Grant. We're great. Okay, just confirming. Yep. <laughs> that was a good little one. The sniff noise. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> All righty, everyone. We have Casey Rocket as the guest today. He was very sweet to come by and chat. Uh, before we start these things off, I like to ask people, what did what did you eat for breakfast today? Oh, uh, I went to Taco Bell at like. 1 30 p.m. I get up really late, so I went to Taco Bell and had a, a chicken chipotle melt. Oh, nice! Yeah. Have you had the wings yet? Didn't Taco Bell start having wings? Don't they offer wings now? I heard that. I saw that online. I didn't have them. I don't like wing. Make your hand dirty. I don't like it. They do. Sorry. If you were, if you had to eat them, would you eat the boneless or the ones with the bone in them? Boneless. I know it's easier. I prefer boneless too. I wonder how they get the bones out. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're born that way. <laughs> just kind of lay there. <laughs> just kind of lay there and cry. I have always wondered about that, how those boneless wings work. It sounds like you could be correct. Yeah, uh, yeah, it could be very small. I don't know. There's no way to tell, actually. That's how they make sure the chickens don't fly away. That they take the bones out? Yeah, they no born bones. that way or they take them out? No bones in the wings, man. Those wings won't work. Yeah, that's how it works sometimes, I think. Hey, Grant, why is it, why are there pancakes <laughs> behind us? I don't really understand that. Flapjack breakfast. It, it's for your first question. You always ask about oh. breakfast. Oh. Pancakes are just like a generic holdover for breakfast. Okay, I get it. I get it. Uh, well, Casey, I brought you a gift. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> one of your topics on your hilarious stand-up you do is... Robitussin, so I brought <laughs> you some daytime severe. Oh, thanks, man. Seven Eleven brand. Oh, this is a good brand. stuff too. Is that really? <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> looked it up. Isn't an active ingredient the DXM or whatever? Yeah, that's what makes you trip real hard. Is it really? Wow, this is heavy stuff. Thanks, dude. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it cost me thirty dollars. Yeah. Better be. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah they sold it uh, in the alleyway. It should be. <laughs> Oh, it's got 10% alcohol, too. This will do you real good. Yeah. Ooh. This is a full weekend right here. Thanks, man. Is that really? Would got that my, be a full weekend? Got my work cut out for me. Um, <laughs> no, not for a guy like me. My test tolerance. Is it up there? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I've probably drank in more Robitussin than probably anybody you'll ever encounter in your life. But I haven't drank in it. You know, I'm an adult now. I haven't drank it in a long time. It's been a while. I'd probably die. Like when you're a teenager, you, your body can process anything. So, yep. Yeah. The last time I drank it, I was like 19 and I was like, <laughs> like it, it was not. What? Uh, you turned into kind of monster like yeah. or you were vomiting? <laughs> I went gargolian. Um, gargolian. Uh, <laughs> aren't those the guys that are on top of buildings? Yeah. Gargoyles. It felt, that's a good way to describe Robotus. It actually it does kind of feel like that. Does it really? <laughs> The Silent Watcher. <laughs> <laughs> the Silent Watcher. Uh, yeah, no, I wasn't vomiting. It just felt like I was dying. And I had a, I was in a college dorm at the time. Yeah. And I was sharing a room with a guy 
and he kept looking over at me, and my whole body was just like beat red. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> God. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> I guess I grew out of Robitussin. and something's wrong. <laughs> Sweating out of my eyeballs. Yeah. I remember being in a college dorm one time and we all ate a bunch of mushrooms and then there's a knock at the door when the television was on and it was only on static and somebody was like halfway in and out of the closet and two people were laying on the floor <laughs> and I was just standing by the uh, television. There's a knock at the door and somebody answers it. And it's some guy's like, hey, we're doing a youth group meeting in 10 minutes down in the basement. <laughs> and then he kind of just looked in the like dark room and people, the TV's on static and <laughs> people are laying on the floor and he just sort of slowly shut the door and walked out. <laughs> so I'm pretty well aware of the dorm hijinks. <laughs> pretty much. I never did the cough syrup. I've done a lot of drugs and stuff. I never... Did it. I wonder if it'd be worth it now or I'd have to worry about like health stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of, I think it's like poison. Like, I don't think you're supposed <laughs> to, like, I don't think you're supposed to drink. Like, God didn't make it to drink. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's worth a try, man. I mean, you probably would die or whatever. What would I try to do, like, with that size bottle? Try to drink the whole thing? That'd be a lot. You probably want to go half of this bad boy. And I'd start feeling stuff. Yeah, you get real trippy. It kind of feels like ketamine, but also it like really, uh, like it affects your motor functions like in every sense. So like you can't really talk or walk or like think. Oh my God. <laughs> You're just like a literal, like kind of like a robot. And uh, it's nice. You disassociate for a while and just kind of <laughs> make guttural sounds. And it oh lasts for like eight hours. So Whoa. So that's a long time. That's like an yeah. acid trip. Yeah, it's a full commitment, man. Yeah, I used to really freak people out in high school. I used to <laughs> drink it before school, and they used to. I used to do this robot voice, and uh, oh gosh, like all the older. So I I was really into it when I was like fourteen and fifteen, and I would practice this robot voice in my room. Like, uh, what did it sound like? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It's me, the robot boy. So like, oh whoa, my God. that was <laughs> robot. I know. That did sound like a robot. I I put <laughs> <laughs> I put the man hours in. Like I really did <laughs> boots on the ground, like research, uh, yeah. self self taught, and uh, I used to practice in front of the mirror for hours, and I would like play oh, wow. like it. Really, I think shaped the foundation of who I am today. Like fair enough for better or worse. I would practice. Being a robot in the mirror, and like I remember a couple times my mom walking in and like being super sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be more happy if you walked in and caught your kid masturbating or something like that, <laughs> yeah. instead of yeah. like staring into the mirror practicing robot. I, I think William also made his mom cry when he was he had mm. his uh, neck brace on, and he used to do bits about. With a neck brace, and I think she cried about it. Yeah, my bitch ass mom asked me what I'm about to do on stage. I said, oh, I'm gonna say I got hurt and my skate, my rollerblade got caught in a sewer grate, and she just started crying, <laughs> which is sad. I don't know. I didn't know how to react to that. Wait, so how did you make that? Can I hear it the was voice so good. again? Uh, Good morning, Professor. It's me, morning. the baby robot. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, are you it, kind of breathing in when you're talking? Yeah, you're like breathing in, and you have to. <sighs> man, hello. You know, that's just not even who I am anymore. So it's hard to put myself in that mindset. <laughs> it's not the yeah, guy. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Then. <laughs> I yeah, you have to like breathe in, and uh... yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like your body <laughs> wants to fight it. But you got to get like over that. that. Grant, can you talk like a robot? No. <laughs> can you try? That is a... I thought you were about to try. <laughs> Hello. I am not that able to do stop. that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to be put on the spot. God. I got goosebumps. That was really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. This guy's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I can't even tell you how many hours I dedicated to doing that. Like, probably, like, you know, they say the 10,000 hour rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think it was master. close to 10,000 hours? No, probably, like, realistically, maybe, like, 200, which is a lot. Yeah, about. I'm trying to do the math on that. If each one is eight hours, <laughs> what is the quick math on that? Like, if it's 200, it's 200 divided by eight. Man. 
Yeah, I did it for like a, a year straight. And then, so I used to do it at school and then when I was a freshman and then word got around to the high school seniors and they would come up to me at the football games and I was always on Tuss. And they would go, dude, you're the robot kid. And they would all <laughs> like circle around me and they're, do the robot voice, do the robot voice. Oh my like, gosh. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they would all cheer and. That's, That's funny. Cool. Were you out on the field with the football pads or you were watching? <laughs> yeah, I was, we... I was quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just in the huddle calling the place yeah. like that. Blue, 52. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's too good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've been trying gosh. to work it into a bit for a long time, but that's the whole bit is just that it sounds good. You should. Have you ever... Uh... For those who don't know, Casey Rocket, I honestly, when I saw you the first time, I was like, I need to stop stand up. <laughs> this guy's way too funny. He's wonderful. Uh, I'm almost surprised you haven't done the robot voice yet. It I seems know. like that'd be right up your alley and be hilarious. Yeah, it would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you want to keep them. You want to. You want to keep them guessing, man. Yeah, I don't want to put all my cards on the table. Like that's. I think that'll be my big. That'll be my Letterman five. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the robot voice the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, I got to work on it, man. But yeah, my biggest memory was one time doing it. My mom walked in and she started crying. And I was like stuck in a thought loop. So I couldn't stop doing it. I was like, no. Mom, it's okay. (laughs) Stop crying. (laughs) Mommy, mommy, mommy. Like following her down the hallway. (laughs) Yeah. She was really freaked out. <laughs> oh, God. And then also, uh, Grimace. How did you start? Grimace is a recurring theme. Uh-huh. On the stand-up. How did you start thinking about Grimace? How did that even come up? Um, yeah, so I used to do a podcast about Grimace. I did like 90 episodes of it. Uh, <laughs> dedicated to Grimace? Yeah, it was me and cool. my, my old friend from high school and... Uh, we would improvise stories about Grimace, about him being like a like a monster burglar, master criminal, monster man, and <laughs> a monster man. He I, is kind yeah. of monster. Like, what is Grimace? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's the that's the whole thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't so, know if people really know who Grimace. Look, there he is. Good job, Grant. Oh, he's right there. He <laughs> smells our fear. He does. It looks like, even though I don't see his nose, I I think he does smell our fear. He smelled with his mouth like Kirby. Hell oh my yeah. gosh, Kirby the Love Bug. I love him. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, Kirby is Kirby <laughs> Streamland. Isn't that Herbie? Yeah, Herbie. <laughs> I love Kirby's that car. a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yeah, I love that car. <laughs> Look at that car. Smell with his mouth, Kirby. Uh, yeah. So uh, me and my friend. I think the first time I ever heard of it, like. Me and my buddy, who we later went on to do the podcast, like we had really bad drinking problems, and we were wow. at a a Taco Mac. You know what I'm talking about? I've never been to a Taco Mac. <laughs> Where like, are those? It's like a B Dubs. It's like a Buffalo Wild Wings type of. It's like a sports place. Okay. And it was like 11 in the morning, and we're sitting there, and we're like, we got the tremors. We're like 19 years, old, like way too young to have like alcohol <laughs> withdrawal, but uh, life finds a way. And we're <laughs> we're sitting there, and we're like, kind of like. <laughs> And he was like, man, like we're trying to take our minds off it. And he was like, man, what was the deal with Grimace? And uh, it was so like kismet, like we both just started like, I think the combination of of feeling so bad and thinking about something so uh, (laughs) absurd, we were just crying, laughing, like all the last drops of moisture (laughs) out of our body. And that was it. But it was all downhill from there. So... Are know, you man. still, you've stopped drinking, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sober now. I've been sober for a while. How's that yeah. been? Uh, it's been good. Yeah. Do you miss drinking? Um, I, I kind of do sometimes. Yeah. I don't really miss like partying. I really like to, to drink and like watch movies. So sometimes that's hard cool. for me. Like after I get done with like a good show and I want to celebrate like, you know, like I'd like to like get really drunk and like watch like Casino or something. Oh, nice. That's a yeah. Good one. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah. Goodfellas. You, that's a, could be another fun one to mm-hmm. watch. No, that's a great one. Yeah. Any, yeah. Just murdering people and. 
Yeah, I get I get too into it when I'm drinking. I, I get kind of delusional. So like, I've definitely had times like, like I'll watch like a World War II movie and I'll get really shit faced and I'll be like crying about like they don't understand what we've been through and stuff. Like <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> Eric can attest. When I was doing a whole bunch of blow, I'd always talk about regretting never being a Navy SEAL, <laughs> even though I'm sure I obviously couldn't have ever become a Navy SEAL. I get high as fuck on cocaine and butt ice. And uh -huh. we've talked about butt ice. You like some butt ice too. Oh yeah. You? That was my drink of choice. Yeah. In college, I drank like 16 butt ice a day for like three years straight. And, oh my uh, gosh. Yeah, and I had to go to detox or whatever. I love butt eyes. Me as too. As that was guy. fun. It's yeah. more bang for your buck. What is six percent <laughs> alcohol? Mm -hmm. How is the detox place? Do they have to give you medicine? Yeah, because you can like die from alcohol withdrawal or whatever. Yeah, I know. I've heard. Yeah. So yeah, they have to do that. <laughs> How long were you detoxing? I had to do it a couple times. I had a really bad drinking problem. So I did it like three times or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes like a couple days. Just a couple days and you're out of there. And <laughs> cool. Figure it out. Get back on the horse and yep. try to take it easy. Yeah, I remember in New yeah. York when I was living up there, I was drinking more than I probably ever have. And one night I didn't drink and I hallucinated a cat in the bedroom I was living in and <laughs> almost killed myself hitting my head on the side table. <laughs> Scare me to death. That was the worst kind of detox thing I had. <laughs> I, I, was was telling, bad. I was telling somebody the other day, I, I didn't really understand, like I didn't go to like medical school or whatever. So like one time I was like, I'm just going to detox in my room. And I drank a whole bottle of laxative, like thinking it would like clear my body out. And I almost died for sure. Oh, like, I really? Was like, yeah. I had like, I like shit for like three days. And I was just like, had like a husk of a man. Yeah, it was bad. Oh my God. I, I thought it would just like like a cartoon almost, like just drain the impurities, but that's not really how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I took a shit kind of earlier, but yeah, it had been three days for me. And I have a bunch of fiber in my body right now. I don't, Literally, it scares me a little bit. I was so gassy last night, but no doo-doo was coming out. We're actually a little dead, and then I wipe one time, and there's shit all on it, so I have to get in the shower. Because I don't know if you know, but I've stopped. I don't have to wipe my butt anymore. I realized you can just get in the shower. Okay. Yeah. No, that's absolutely true. Yeah. <laughs> that's a life hack, man. That's badass. It, it is a life hack. <laughs> only 90s kids know. That's something you say, which is hilarious. Yeah, only 90s kids remember the doo-doo shower, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I One time, you know how people pee in the shower? One time I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. in the shower when I was a kid. Did uh, you? <laughs> how did that go? It clogged it. Damn, yeah. What, yeah. it have the little holes, the drain? Yeah. Did you have to stomp it <laughs> through? Stomp it through with your toes? Yeah, I had to do the, the, the big toe. This is the best toe for it. Yeah, I've done that before. Sure, man. I'm sure we all have. Yeah, it was a learning experience. Have you, Grant? Uh, Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> cool, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah I've that's done that. Good. I feel validated. Yeah, I, I, as soon as I started telling that, I was like, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Turns out it's something we all do, which is cool. <laughs> it is something we all do. I love it. The waffle stomping. Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah. Grant's got a name for it. It's called waffle stomping. Why? Because it's like does the shape of a waffle when it's coming through the other side. The yeah, the drain is kind of like a waffle thing, and you have to stomp it through the waffle drain. Shape. A waffle iron. Is that what you call them? Uh, or a waffle press? A waffle maker. Waffle maker. <laughs> yeah, waffle iron. <laughs> why did you you just derailed this entire thing grant i shouldn't have asked you that i'm i'm so sorry <laughs> sorry i thought it was cool you did yeah cool yeah i don't know sometimes i think grant screwing this whole thing up on purpose and then it's just hard for me to uh <laughs> figure out what's going on so how have you liked austin how long have you been in austin now uh i've been here since july so i've been here a little over six months yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's great, man. What, you came from Georgia? Uh, oh, you I, came from Idaho? Yeah, I came you? from Idaho, yeah. So I, I spent my whole life in Georgia, and then I was in uh, Boise, Idaho for the last three years. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I love Austin. I was living in my car until like a, a week ago, so I have an apartment now, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah, you were yeah. telling me about it. How's the apartment coming along? It's good, yeah. I had a lot of stuff in storage, and uh, yeah, I got all my posters up, and uh 
cool dvds and stuff yeah what size storage unit did you have in la i was working at a storage unit place for two years what size storage unit did you have? <laughs> <laughs> uh I don't know, man. I don't know. Was I don't it want expensive you to... on a monthly basis. It was like eighty dollars or That's something. That's not bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. That's Just not too bad. Maybe like you... a five by six or something. Is yeah, that that's a good size. Yeah, yeah we had five <laughs> by fives in ours. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Wait, so do you have? Are you still paying for the storage unit, or you got everything out? I took everything out. Do they? If you don't, <laughs> so do I need to cancel? Are they going like, to like litigate? You need to cancel, man. Oh, okay. They're going to start charging you. We would always have that issue with people. Yeah. People were pissed. They were still paying for it. And what's this, Grant? What's going on behind us? Tetris. It's cubes. Storage cubes. Cube and storage cube. Storage. I don't know. I'm I'm derailing. I can't again. do it. <laughs> storage cube. Storage cube. The way of the future. <laughs> storage cubes. Eat, pray, love. Storage cube. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that could be a good sign. We go to yeah. uh, Home Goods place them, and they all have the stupid sayings on everything. Yeah. That would Eat, be a pray, fun. love. Storage cube. <laughs> the Navy SEALs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd get all fucked up on blow just talking about how I'd like to go into battle and slip people's throats. You'd be throats. also like drink a bottle of vodka and listen to um, Martin Luther King speeches and cry. <laughs> and okay, then he'd try to break. I'd be go, trying to go to sleep, and he'd be, he's like, "I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna listen to one more speech." And I'm like, "I'm not gonna. I can't go to bed with you drunk crying, <laughs> listening to Martin Luther King speeches." Oh, that's used, beautiful, man. Yeah, I used to love that. He has one. But if not, that's a good one. Look that one up. Uh huh. You have such an inquisitive mind. It's a good one. Yeah, I used to love. Yeah, <laughs> sitting in Erica's bed, drunk as shit, Crying. listening to Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> that was always fun, babe. You gotta listen to this part. <laughs> He's so fucked. Up. He's so drunk too. Mm. That's hysterical. I do do it on myself one time at her grandparents' place, and she had to help clean it up. It was all over the bathroom. It was just all was over awful. the fucking place, and I didn't what, give a shit. Why did you? <laughs> why did you do that? Why? You I do don't it? know. I he think missed the toilet. Missed it was the all toilet. over the floor. Yeah. He was how, how so do you drunk. Miss? <laughs> I don't know. I did. You start toilet. out on the toilet. I think I got close to the toilet, and then it came out when I got close to. Uh. It. And then I get out of my bedroom, <laughs> and we always keep the. Um, bathroom door shut because we have little dogs and they confuse like the rug for a pee pee pad so we always keep it closed and the doors open and the lights on and it stinks i was like what the fuck's going on and there's just poo all over the bathroom shit's everywhere that was kind of a low point (laughs) and my parents are there and i don't give a shit i'm doing key bumps out in the backyard kind of a low point yeah (laughs) and it was less than a year ago (laughs) but <laughs> that is pretty recent. And I had a long day of work the next day, and I had to clean up, bleach the bathroom, give him a shower, throw out rugs, wash his clothes. I was so tired. And that's maybe the day I was embarrassed to leave for room, so I peed in a beer can, and then I accidentally drank the pee beer can. <laughs> and I wanted to fucking vomit. It was the grossest thing ever. I thought it was at first a beer with the beer salt in it. I liked it beer like, salt. He's like, I drank your beer, beer salt. I was like, no, you didn't. I didn't drink. And then he's like, that was piss. <laughs> that was a nightmare. So luckily that. He's yeah, gotten I mean, better. Yeah. That less than a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> it was. I was not. This time last year, I wasn't doing good. It sounds like it. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. What a calamity of errors. That's, dude. <laughs> it was. Yeah. You think that, you know, taking a shit and missing <laughs> would be the worst thing that happened to you that day, but it wasn't. It was not. And yeah, her poor grandparents are in the house. It was all just so And he's like on Kill Tony Discord laughing. Oh, I guess I just shit everywhere. And it's like literally it's all down the back of his legs. <laughs> and he's so messed up. He when I when I went out there, I was like, Do you know you just shit yourself? And he's just on the phone laughing. He's like, oh, I guess I just shit myself. And he's cracking up. God. And I and I remember I locked him in the backyard so he wouldn't come in and like sit on anything. Yeah, it almost froze that night. No, he you locked didn't. me outside. But he was I outside was for five minutes. Dude, that's how Ronald Reagan died. 
Is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he got locked out of the Nancy house. locked him out. Yeah. <laughs> the old shit freeze, man. <laughs> uh, dude, that's amazing. That's so funny. I think it would have been fun if both of, maybe in the future, if we both get, or me, I can only speak for myself. If I get better, if I can start drinking again, it might be fun to get drunk and watch a movie or something. Yeah. I'm sure I'll relapse eventually. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll stay in touch. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, but me and my friends used to have a big thing about uh, True Detective season one. Like, Ooh, my, my, one. when that came out, we were really, I was like a sophomore in college. And uh, it was me and the same friend, the Grimace friend. And he, like, uh, had a full breakdown about it and, like, was shit faced, <laughs> got in his car. And he's like, Oh, gosh. I'm driving to Louisiana, dude. <laughs> I got to become a detective. And, like, uh, oh, shit. somebody called the cops on him. They, like, stopped him from driving. And he was, like, telling the cops, like, <laughs> Just let me into the academy, man. <laughs> we got oh, some work to do. That's uh, funny. How's your buddy now? Did he end up being a detective or what's he up to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Bo Dydle. Um It's a deep cut detective guy. Um, <laughs> no, he's great. He's been sober for like five years. So yeah, he's good, man. Yeah. Oh, cool. But yeah, we definitely caught that bug. I've had that several times about being a detective. True. Yeah. It's. I think that's the natural inclination. Whenever I normally start drinking and get, I'll get really dark, like outlaw country dark, like start thinking I'm somebody <laughs> like cooler than I am or whatever. Yeah. Like, yes. Listen to a lot that. of Waylon Jennings and oh, stuff nice. like that and try to solve crimes, man. <laughs> I love it. That sounds fun. <laughs> we need to do something where we're both detectives. Yeah. Something. Like to do that and we talk real. like w like robots the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> that could be fun uh cool well thank you so much for being here we're gonna call my mother soon and you can talk to her a little if you'd like i'd love to yeah sure cool okay <laughs> we're gonna get uh grant do we have the technology ready <laughs> yeah we can call her okay cool well let's uh do that one second There's How down am <laughs> Got it. God, it's hard to burn all this technology. It's well, if, if it hadn't been for Gina, I wouldn't be able to do this. I mean, y'all could come here easier than we fool with this. Um. <laughs> well, Mama, how are y'all doing today? We thought you we'd get you on the podcast. We had been talking about you earlier. Remember that time I had the neck brace on and stuff, and you asked me what I was going to do on stage, and I said I got hurt with my rollerblades, and you started crying. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. Well, it's Are true. Are you serious? Yeah, it's true. Well, that's sweet. I cried. No, you <laughs> cried in a bad way. I don't think it was a sweet way. No, I probably cried because you were hurt. No, you knew I wasn't hurt. <laughs> I think you, you, mean you were, Do you mean when you were on the skateboard at MUS with the Tinkerbell ribbon? No. <laughs> That's something different. Hear that, Gina. I know. <laughs> Who's Gina talking to on her phone? Is she texting? I'm, one? I'm texting. I'm <laughs> texting. She's texting Wilda. Oh, she is. She wants us to get Wilda on FaceTime so she can be here with I don't us. Know. I think it's too We're not, I can't do all that. I've done yeah, all I can do connecting right us now. to you. Well, Bob, I can't we, do were, we were talking about the ghost that visited you all the other night. What happened? Somebody turned a lamp on when you were asleep. I don't think it was a ghost, Gina. I hadn't told you this. It's mm. the weirdest thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm not kidding. In what the middle happens? of the night, I wake up and the lamp is on. Okay. Across the whole room. Okay. You turn it on? I turned it off, but it took me 45 minutes because I was so scared. I thought someone was staring at me. What, what was you think? something? Wait, you feel like a burglar or a ghost? Not a guy. I don't think it was a ghost. Gosh. Remember when we I don't know what it was, but it scared me. Remember when we were back home for Christmas and the ghost shook the Christmas tree? <laughs> well, I did. Y'all told me the ghost shook the Christmas tree. I wasn't aware of it. Do you have ghosts normally in your house? Yeah. Do you not know about the ghost? You've said mention them, but I try. No, not to seriously. Think about one time, this is a true story. One time I had my whole Bible study there. There were like 15 women. Yeah. And we were sitting in a circle and 
all at the same time, we hear someone walk across the kitchen floor and we all looked up at the same time and there was no one there. That's truly true. I believe maybe it was the Holy Spirit since y'all were at a Bible. No, school. it was they were footsteps. Does the Holy Spirit not have footsteps? I, I doubt it because he's a spirit. Fair enough. Unless he takes on bodily form. Who's that? Unless if he takes on bodily Who form. Who is this over here that no, we don't know? Right yeah, that's here. Casey. Casey's our Hi. guest today. He's a very funny. Hey, Casey. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm excited. Nice. To nice to meet you. Yeah. Do you believe in ghosts, Casey, or not? I do believe in ghosts. Yeah. So this is how his podcast goes. Yeah. People all over the world are listening to this. What What are y'all having a little conversation? (laughs) Gina. Gina. I just want to know before it's anything. Is that about me? I could get paid for this. Excuse us. She wants to know if she can get paid for this. She says, do people really watch this? No, I said, are people. I did not say that. She says, are people all over the world? Yeah, like, do people sign up to listen to this? Or they just. How do people listen to you YouTube. on YouTube? People can watch. OK, but no, is it live now or recorded and then you play it? No, it's recorded. It'll be out. OK, time. thank you, Mama. I stopped smoking, but I'm putting using these tobacco pouches in my lip now. Well, that they're going to have to remove your whole lip then because you're going to get cancer. Please remove it. I Seriously, it William. Out. It gives me a big yeah. head rush. Wouldn't that upset thing. you? I can't even always say that. I don't know. He's putting some kind of pouch of tobacco in his lip and they're going to. But it might be OK. I don't know. It's what, what, what's, I wouldn't I do it. Know. Nicotine. It's not tobacco. Oh, gosh. Just get a nicotine patch. A patch? Yeah. Put a little patch on your arm and it'll absorb nicotine into you. It's safer than under your lip. OK, well, I'll he could just go get that stuff at Walgreens. What stuff at Walgreens? That nicotine gum. Oh, yeah. Get some Nicorette gum. And Walgreens. Oh, gosh, look, okay. Look at their house. They redid it. It looks so clean. Whose house is that? Wildish. Oh, I want to say oh. it after. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to hear uh, Casey does a funny robot voice? You want to hear it? Yeah. This is so funny. Do you want me to say something specific in the robot voice? No, you just say you're sort of sounding like a robot now, but go <laughs> ahead. I'm trying hard. <laughs> To be normal. Okay. Uh, <laughs> good morning. How's Williams it going? Door. Welcome. Robot boy. Pretty good, right? That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Do it one more time. We We're going to give you one more chance. We should play the video. It was y'all. good. I'm good. Yeah, that was a pretty good I one. I practice all the time. I like when the two cats are singing cat. Like, listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm hot, <laughs> Okay. Uh, one more time. Good morning, Santa. Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, right? Goosebump. <laughs> yeah, is that good? They like it. It's good. They- is that the reason you're on this little show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's known for it. <laughs> what else do you do? Is that really the reason? No, no. I, I'm a comedian. I'm a stand-up comedian. I do. Uh, oh, okay. Do well, do you, well, that's Ask a good little. Where, where do you live? <laughs> I live in Austin. Yeah. Are you from Austin? No, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you think the robot voice was bad and I should stop doing it? No, I think it's good. You sort of have a little tinge of robot just normally. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he speaks robotic. You speak robotic. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I used to practice a lot. We're, t- we're teasing you. We're teasing. We don't even know. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you all so much for being on here. That was so fun for us. Oh, you're getting rid of us? Yeah, what are you going to go do now? Indigenous? I don't know. Have... I've been playing video games a bunch. We're, we're about to have mm. snow here. Oh, really? Yeah, we got to go to the grocery to get supplied up because we might be in for a day. Mama, I haven't doo-dooed in three days. Oh God. Say that. <laughs> William, stop. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's He's true. Up and he drinks his prune yeah, I've juice. been drinking prune juice. So I made that stew with the beans and the vegetables. Raisin I've been drink- eating raisin bran. I don't know what's going on. Well, if that's true, that's real bad. You need to go to a doctor. Is that really true, William? It's true. Yeah, I do a little today, but it had been three days. <laughs> 
Yeah, he needs to just go take a laxative and then he'll be. Go, yeah, go take a laxative. Tell him which one to take. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> go, get a, <laughs> go get an enema. No, I okay, I remember when you used to put those in my bottom. Remember that when I was little? I did not. Mm-hmm. That you make all that stuff up. You were thinking I remember being in y'all's bed and putting my bottom in the air and you sticking it in there. I remember that. that. Was, that was a See, suppository. It, it, it was a suppository <laughs> or it was the thermometer when you were little bitty and you couldn't bite down on the mercury. Yeah. Like when I one time was sick and, and I got this car story up. Listen, uh-huh. what? when my when, when, when my oldest daughter, mm-hmm. I, I guess she I don't know, had the throw up bug. And so I got one of those suppositories out. And I put that Vaseline all over it. She looked at me and she said, if you think I'm going to eat that, you're crazy. That was sort of funny. Yeah. She thought she was going to have to eat it. No. I mean, Wilda's house looks so good. Okay. I wish we had been funnier. Bye. No, it was nice to talk to y'all. So Thank y'all for being on here. Okay. Thank you for calling. I love you, sweet boy. I love you too. Bye-bye, Erica. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye y'all. Uh, How do I get off? <laughs> I want to see Wilda's house. <laughs> we can yeah. still hear you. I don't know how to get off, William. Oh, oh dear. Okay. I want to see Wilda's house. I know. I kind of do, too. I heard it's amazing. Me, too. Me, too. Uh, cool. Well, Casey, thank you so much for being on here. It was great. We need to have you back at some point. Keep up the good work with all your hilarious stand up. It was a pleasure you being on here. Congratulations on the new apartment, man. I know that's thank exciting. You. It's exciting. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed the story. Your mom is a great mom. That's good. Francis. Yeah. yeah, she's a character. She's she's nice. She means well. She's a total character. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram. Casey Rocket. Yeah. Big fun. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you all for watching this one. And uh, hey, don't forget, uh, subscribe to the YouTube oh, yeah, channel. Don't just watch. To the YouTube the show subscribe we need more subscribers yeah don't please be subscribe deadbeat. please subscribe and uh cool and be careful with that later if you do <laughs> it i don't i kind of want to a little but we'll, we'll see we'll go 50 50 cool <laughs> all right well thank you all for watching bye. bye bye thanks for joining us for this week's episode of the william montgomery show Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. The fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.